you guys, happy Monday. Today I have my February wrap up for you guys. So it was a pretty short and sweet, but I'm really happy with everything that I did manage to read. And I just, again, just wanna share my little wrap up with you guys. So I'm just gonna dive right in. And the first one is Sweet Southern Hearts by Susan Child. And this is actually, I believe, the conclusion to a trilogy. And so I'm wondering if I wouldn't have been a little bit more into or read the first two if I would have been a little bit more involved into this story. I do think it was okay. I did end up giving it three stars. I do have a full review, so if you're interested in a little bit more depth of my thoughts and opinions, link will be below. But this is just basically about this girl who has had a struggle in the past. Her first two husbands have passed away. She's on to her third one. And along with him comes his stepson, or his son, her stepson. And so just kind of learning how to be this new mother, a new wife, and on top of that, life throws a bunch of other curveballs. One thing I really did enjoy about this was the theme of friendships or relationships with um, mother, daughter, friends, husbands, or spouses, just different things that I thought, again, revolved all around this relationship theme, and I thought it was pretty well done on that aspect. So again, three stars for this one. The next one I have for you guys is in Farley Field by Reese Bowen, and this is a historical fiction based during World War II, so I absolutely love World War II, the World War II historical fiction, and this one definitely fit the bill. I felt like it was a little too predictable, and it was a pretty steady pace. You know, there was just, I felt like I needed a little bit more from this. So um, one thing I thought was really great were the characters. You either loved or hated them. I thought that the language and the like descriptions and everything about this like era was really well researched. And then again, the other thing that I thought was pretty fantastic was you get a little bit more so of the backside of things that happened during the war, not necessarily everything on the war front. So especially seeing the women in action was really great and I loved seeing how they got to benefit and help during the war as well. So this one I believe I also gave a three stars. I just needed a little bit more because I just found it too predictable. But it was a pretty enjoyable read. For those who do like historical fiction, I do think you guys should give this one a try. There is also a full review to this that just went up last week, so if you guys are interested and you want just a little bit more, down below. The next one that really, really surprised me was On Turpentine Lane, and this one is by Eleanor Lippman, and I don't feel like it was, you know, anything profound. The story wasn't that amazing, but the characters make this story and the dialogue. It was fantastic. And this is about this girl who, again, is having struggles in life and her like fiance is out trying to find himself on this walk across America and she gets this job back at her old high school and she writes thank you notes and then she works with this guy so a little fling kind of happens in there and just more kind of starts to develop. She buys this little bungalow which has this whole nother like history and a little mystery and I just think it was really really well done. It was like quirky and it was witty and it was just really charming. I absolutely loved it way more than I ever thought. I just I loved the writing style and again the dialogue was so fantastic. These characters were just phenomenal and there is more below to the full review if you guys are interested but I highly 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 recommend this one because I just found it was just such a pleasure and like I said it just wasn't anything super gripping that just you know, suck you in, but at the same time it was a page turner because you just constantly wanted to get to know more about these characters and I just really, really loved it. It was such a pleasant surprise and yeah, definitely check this out. I gave it five stars. All right, to my next five star read, it is called It Happens All the Time by Amy Havani and this is one that comes out on March 28th, so definitely keep your eyes peeled. This is such an important topic and I think a lot of people should read this because it's something that I don't feel like society talks about enough. I felt like even myself that I didn't know much about this topic and I think for this author to have been through what this character had been through and to shine some light on it was just incredible. I felt so deeply during this and I also thought a lot during this. It raises a ton of questions. And this is about two characters, Amber and Tyler, who have been best friends since like middle school or high school, just, you know, right in that era. 
her time. And they have just been the best of friends. They've seen each other through ups, downs, everything in between. And then one night when Amber comes home after graduating from college, her and Tyler decide to just go out. There's some flirtation that happens. There's some alcohol and then everything fueled by that totally changes them. So something definitely happens. There's some heavy, heavy topics. So be aware of that. But again, it's such an important topic and I really hope you guys will check it out. Again, I go a little further into detail with a full review down below if you guys want to. I will also have a pre-order link for this and I just, again, cannot stress enough that I think this is so important and I hope everybody will just read it, give it a chance, and let's start a discussion and just kind of talk about it because I feel like it raised so many questions within myself and how I would feel about this or what I feel overall about the topic. So it definitely makes you think, it opens your eyes and I would love to chat with you guys on this topic. So definitely read it and let's get a combo started. Five star read, so amazing, up and down. And there were a couple flashback moments that brought um, a little bit of humor, which helped break it up. So I really appreciated that. But again, it's so, so good. The last two that I have are Saga 3 and 4, and holy cow, it just continues to get better and better. I believe Volume 3 was the first one, like, we didn't have something super, like, disgusting and shock factor happen, but I can't remember for sure now, and then 4, it was, like, back, but regardless, they were still on the run, they were still trying to protect their family, and then in this one, they start to get to settle down a little bit, and I thought it was... A really interesting take getting to see now that they're not on the run that these real life marriages and things like that start these issues start to come up and it's not as easy you know it was easy for them to stick us together when they had everybody against them and now that they are kind of like hiding from the fact that they're you know they're basically in hiding and they no longer have to run so now all these issues start to rise and we get um, Hazel their daughter's like voice and dialogue and she's the narrator and I felt like that was definitely her strongest moment in this and it was so beautiful and so amazing and the story just continues to get better and better so of course right as I finished four I had to order five and six so I'm looking forward to reading those but again this is so fantastic I do have a little bit more in my comic book um, like wrap up that I just released so I will leave that linked below too but just absolutely loving this five stars every single one so far I've just absolutely loved. All right, you guys, so that was my February wrap up. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys on Wednesday with another video. I hope you have a great day and I will see you then. Bye, you guys.